this and I'm begins with our protagonist, Amain Fujimiya, walking down the street on a rainy day until Amain meets a girl out in the rain in a little square, and like a good gentleman, our protagonist gives the girl his umbrella the next day. Amain realizes that he has caught a cold because of the rain the day before. At that moment, the girl he had helped appears in the room and everyone starts fawning over her. All this because she's Sheena Maharu, the most popular girl in school and even nicknamed Angel. And although all the guys at school were dying to have a chance with Sheena, our protagonist said that her world was one in which he didn't belong. After that, Amain went back to his house and when he arrived at his door, he saw Sheena. At that moment, Garota said that she had realized that he had fallen ill and that she was going to take care of him. At that moment, Sheena told him that she was going to go to her house to get some medicine and it was shown that she lived next door to Amain, something the protagonist never told anyone. So, after receiving Sheena's care, he believed that after that day, the engagement between the two would end and so he said goodbye to her. However, the very next day, Sheena went to talk to Amain while he was drinking a juice. She asked him if that would be his dinner and when he said yes, Sheena asked him to wait a little while. Then she handed him a pot of food to eat like a normal person. And to Amain's surprise, after that, Sheena started giving him a pot of food every day. So one day, while Sheena was delivering another plate of food to him, Sheena realized that the protagonist's house was very dirty. And since she was a very organized person and couldn't stand to see her neighbor with such a dirty house, she decided to help Amain clean it. A day later, Amain found Sheena in the square again. Only this time she was injured from trying to save a kitten from a tree. Seeing the scene, Amain grabbed a first aid kit and tended to Sheena's wounds but as she was unable to walk, Amain decided to carry her to the door of his apartment. As a thank you, at dinner time, Sheena handed Amain a plate of delicious food and although he thanked her, the Amain said that he would very much like to eat one of her freshly made dishes as a solution. Sheena offered to split the cost of the food with Amain, in exchange for which she would cook dinner for the two of them at his house. Amain accepted and after they had eaten, the protagonist noticed that Sheena was someone who worked hard at her studies at this point. Sheena replies that she was obliged to work so hard. Changing the subject, she tells him that it's late and that she's going back to her place but she ends up forgetting her school back and after handing it in, Amain notices that it's only a few days before her birthday. At school, Amain decides to ask his best friend what would be the best present for a girl. The best friend's girlfriend then took over the conversation and advised the Amain to buy something cute like a stuffed animal. So, when Sheena's birthday came around, the Amain told her he had seen the card informing him of her birthday. Birthday, and after congratulating her, he gave her some hand cream since Sheena was always helping him with the housework. Then he gave her the teddy bear he had bought for her and Sheena was very happy with the presents. She also said that she never told people about her birth, as she didn't like being flattered by strangers who kept showering her with presents however. Amain was no longer a stranger to Sheena, and so she was very happy with his sincere gift. Just then, the protagonist blushed and almost stroked her head to show his affection the next day. Amin's mother came to visit him. Sheena was in his house and he didn't want his mother to see her. Amin asked Sheena to hide in his room and gave her his key so that she could escape at the most opportune moment. So Amin's mother entered the house and was impressed to see how clean and well kept the house was however. She wanted to see what his room looked like and even though Amin tried his best to stop her, his mother came in and found Sheena asleep in his room. Amin then told her that she wasn't his girlfriend. But his mother replied that Amain wouldn't let a girl into his room if he didn't like her at this point. Amain thought that he really liked Sheena, but he told his mother that he only liked Sheena as a friend then. After Sheena woke up, the Amain's mother thanked Sheena for taking care of her son and continuing the misunderstanding. She said that she was happy that he had a beautiful and intelligent girlfriend like Sheena. As a result, Amain's mother said that she had only been to see if Amain was alright, and if he was, she would leave. Afterwards, Sheena told Amain that she was jealous that he had such a kind and cheerful mother, implying that her parents were people who didn't think much of her. After saying this, Sheena went to give Amain his house key back, but he said it wouldn't be necessary since he trusted Sheena enough for her to enter the house whenever she wanted and that made Sheena happy for the moment. Back at school, the report card had finally arrived and Amin had made the top 30 and Sheena had come first, as she always did. However, Amin ended up overhearing some people talking about how Sheena was a prodigy, and that made him a little angry, since he knew how hard Sheena worked to get such good grades. So he bought Sheena a cake and congratulated her on her efforts. After that, Amin's best friend, Itsuki, asked if he and his girlfriend could spend Christmas Eve at Amin's house. The Amin then warned Sheena about this and asked her not to go to his house that day so as not to cause a misunderstanding. 
Despite this, the Amin noticed that she had nothing to do and invited her to spend Christmas with him the day after the party. Sheena then said she wanted to spend the day playing with him, since she had never played a video game in her life. So the days passed and Christmas Eve arrived. At Amin's house, Itsuki and his girlfriend were surprised to notice that Amin's house was so clean. Not only that, but Itsuki's girlfriend noticed that there was a feminine touch there, however. The conversation was interrupted when she noticed that it was snowing, and because of this, she and Itsuki went out onto the balcony to take a closer look. The problem was that when they got to the balcony, Amin's friends bumped into Sheena watching the snow. Then, after Amin had explained his whole situation with Sheena, Itsuki went over and said that their relationship was almost that of husband and wife, and that he was surprised Amin didn't feel anything for Sheena. Then they made friends with Sheena and after that, they left, leaving Amin and Sheena alone at last. So they had a supper where Amin was very grateful for Sheena's food. Sheena said she had learned this from someone who cooked so well that the food tasted like happiness. However, Amin replied that for him, Sheena's food also tasted like happiness, and since saying that made Amin feel a bit embarrassed. He changed the subject and arranged to play some video games with Sheena the next day. So the next day, they started playing video games and Amin began to notice how cute Sheena was. After that, Amin gave Sheena her Christmas present, which was a small purse, and as well as thanking Amin, Sheena said she was surprised that our protagonist had a good sense of fashion. Amin's mother had sent her photos of him and Sheena had noticed how elegantly he dressed. At this point, Sheena stood next to Amin and lifted his bangs. This made her notice how handsome he was and, being very clever, Amin took the opportunity to give him the once-over and also touched Sheena's face. After this cute scene, Sheena gave Amin a scarf as a present and the two of them went to watch the snowfall. The problem was that the very next day, Sheena ended up catching a cold as a result. So Amin carried her up to her room and started looking after her for two days straight. So, after she was cured, it was New Year's Eve and because of this, Amin's parents decided to pay Amin a New Year's visit. They complimented Sheena, and then told Amin to take Sheena to a New Year's event at a shrine in the city. Amin's father then made him dress up and told him that when Amin dressed up, he really looked good. After that, Amin's father asked him if he was okay living alone and a brief flashback was shown, showing that Amin was bullied in the old area where he lived. However, the conversation was interrupted when Sheena arrived in a kimono, and the protagonist was so taken by Sheena's beauty that he began to compliment her. At that moment, Sheena said that he looked very handsome that way and after that, the two of them went to the shrine. There, a lot of people were watching the model couple. After having a great time, Amin's family said goodbye to Amin and told him that next time they would like Amin to take Sheena to visit their house. The next day, a rumor started to spread that Sheena was seeing a very handsome boy at the shrine, and that he was probably Sheena's boyfriend. When they got home, Amin told Sheena about the rumor, and Sheena asked if they really looked so much like a couple. However, Amin replied that it didn't really matter, since Sheena would never be with a loser like him. But Sheena ended up getting annoyed by this and started praising all his qualities in the best way, leaving a strong atmosphere of romance between the two. After a while, Itsuki's girlfriend, Chitos, went to Amin's house and asked what kind of chocolate Itsuki liked. Since Valentine's Day was coming up, it was common for teenagers to exchange chocolate. So after discovering Itsuki's chocolate, Chitos asked if Sheena was going to give chocolate to any boys. But Sheena said no, because it would probably generate bad rumors. Back at school, the most popular boy was receiving lots of chocolates. But as the gifts had no real feelings, the boy was a little sad. Without understanding the reason for the boy's sadness, Amain went up to him and handed him a bag so he could keep all the chocolates, since he thought the boy was worried about it. After that, Amin went back to his house. There, Sheena handed him a hot chocolate that Amin immediately thought was a Valentine's present, at which point Sheena ran off to her house in shame. When he went after her, the Amin found a bag on the doorknob, containing some chocolates that were the real Valentine's present for him. Seeing those presents, Amin was overjoyed and began to think about his feelings for Sheena. The next day, Amin went back to school and, incredibly, the popular boy from school went straight up to Amin and started talking to him. The boy's name was Kadowaki, and he said that he just wanted to thank Amin for the help he had given him on the last day. After that, the Amin went to a jewelry store and bought Sheena a present. He then returned home all dressed up and gave her the present, which was a bracelet. Back at school, Itsuki asked Amin if he could stay at his house for a while, since Itsuki's father didn't approve of him dating Chitos and because of that, they'd had a fight. So Itsuki went to Amin's house to see how Amin was doing with Sheena. Itsuki told him that he should propose to Sheena right away, since Sheena probably had feelings for Amin too however. Amin didn't take it very seriously and just ignored it. 
So, after about three days, Itsuki left Amain's house, and one day, while Amain was on his way home, he heard a woman scolding Sheena and treating her like a nuisance. After the woman left, Amain went to talk to Sheena and found out that the woman was Sheena's mother. She then told the story that her mother and father didn't love each other and had only married for diplomatic reasons. However, one day they made a mistake and Sheena was born, but they never got to like Sheena, and even though Sheena tried her best to show them some affection, they never reciprocated that love. Sheena also said that the day she was sitting in the square in the rain, the scene from the first episode, was because her mother had told her that she was one of those unplanned children. At that moment, Amain hugged Sheena and told her that even though her parents had never recognized her value, notwithstanding, Sheena burst into tears and gave Amain a firm hug. Sheena then said that she was blessed to have someone like Amain. The two of them then went out to see some cherry blossoms and Sheena hugged Amain tightly, telling him that he was someone very special. And at that moment, Amain realized that it would be strange if he wasn't in love with Sheena. A few days later, the school announced the new classes for the semester, and this time, in addition to Itsuki, Sheena had joined Amain's class as well. While he was in the classroom, the school's popular guy went to talk to Amain again. But the protagonist began to think back to when he was bullied, and because of this, he became a little discouraged. At home, Sheena realized this and gave him a cuddle to cheer him up, which ended up working. The next day, the popular guy at school went to talk to Amain and Itsuki again, asking if they wanted to have lunch together. Amain then asked if Popular really wanted to be friends with him, and the boy answered yes since he felt that Amain was a person and didn't get involved with people out of interest. That said, Sheena went to talk to Amain and said she was jealous that he could talk normally at school with the boys, and with him, she couldn't even smile, so Sheena came up with the idea of gradually getting closer to Amain at school. And there, she came up with the idea of teaming up with Amain in cooking class. During the class, Amain and Sheena went to get some products from the fridge, and while they were walking, a random extra almost spilled hot oil on Sheena. However, in true gentleman style, Amain saved her and not only did he do it, but he also gave the extra who did it a direct scolding. Because of this, Itsuki and Chitos praised Amain's attitude and said they were proud of his bold move. Back at home, Sheena also praised Amain and said that she would do her best to stay close to him at school. She also told him that there was going to be an event at the mall, and called Amain to come and have fun with her that day. That said, the two of them went to the mall and while Sheena was trying on some clothes, two extras came up to Amain and asked if he wanted to go out with them. Just then, Sheena interrupted the conversation and pulled Amain away to another corner. So they went to an arcade, where Sheena got a stuffed animal and gave it to Amain as a present because he was always entertaining and looking after her. At the arcade, Kadowaki saw Sheena and was impressed that she was dating someone, who he soon realized was Amain. So after that, Amain, along with Itsuki and Kadowaki, went to a karaoke parlor, and after learning all about Amain's relationship with Sheena, Kadowaki told him that it wasn't just a relationship between friends and that Sheena probably had feelings for him, and not being able to resist the subject. Amain ended up revealing that he liked Sheena. Back home, Sheena decided to ask why Amain lived alone even though he was so clumsy, and although he was reluctant, he ended up telling her the story of his past, which, in this case, was that when he arrived at the elementary school, Amain ended up being welcomed by the popular boys at school as a friend. Because he was so kind, Amain didn't realize their bad intentions and started paying them back. Until one day, Amain overheard the boys talking about him from the sidelines, saying that Amain was a loser and that he was only good for buying things. Amain even went to talk to them. But even so, the boys continued to mistreat him. Because of this, Amain decided to move away and start all over again in a place where no one knew him. Hearing that story, Sheena decided that now it was her turn to comfort Amain and made him give her a hug. She then told him that although he hadn't had any friends before, he now had real friends who liked him precisely because of who he was. After being consoled, Amain told him that he was going to join a study group. Since this time, he wanted to work just as hard as Sheena. Sheena then told him that Chitos was also going to the meeting and after they had studied a lot, Amain ended up in the top 10 at school. Sheena told him that she would reward him with a cuddle and an ear cleaning. That said, Sheena did what she had promised and Amain ended up sleeping as relaxing as it was. When he woke up, he found Sheena asleep and as she wasn't waking up at all, he took her to her room to sleep. Just then, Sheena woke up and called Amain to sleep with her. However, being a good gentleman, the Amain put her back to sleep and left the room. The next day, Sheena was ashamed to remember this. Afterwards, Sheena told Amain that she was no longer willing to be a different person at school, since Amain, who was the only person who mattered to her, liked her real personality 
And that was all that mattered, however. Amin said he didn't agree with this, because if the other boys saw what she was really like, they would certainly go crazy over her, which was not something that would please Amin. At this point, Sheena said that Amin was very cute and started to hold his face. This gave the protagonist an attitude and he narrowly avoided kissing Sheena. She then immediately kissed him on the cheek and ran off. This left an atmosphere of embarrassment between the two, and at school, they kept a certain distance from each other because of this. Itsuki called Amin a coward and told him that he should take action soon to respect his feelings for Sheena. Amin then said that he didn't feel handsome or confident enough to talk about his true feelings for Sheena. Despite this, he went to talk to her about last day's event, and the two of them went back to acting normally. And so the school sports event began, and there, there was a treasure hunt event, which was basically a tournament where the student picked up a card asking for a certain thing and he had to bring that certain thing to the finish line. So the tournament got underway and Amin and Sheena realized that they both matched what was written on their letter. When they reached the finish line, it was revealed that Amin's card asked for someone he considered beautiful. But what was most surprising was Sheena's letter, which asked for someone she considered very dear. Everyone at school was impressed by this and some boys started bullying her for having gotten so close to someone with no aura like Amin. However, Sheena soon intervened and said that she liked every aspect of Amin, and that no other person in the school was as interesting as him. After hearing all this, Amin decided that when he got home, he would propose to Sheena once and for all. And as promised, he told her all his true feelings and Sheena also revealed that she liked him in a romantic way. So Amin apologized for being such a coward and then asked her to marry him. And so the anime ends, without so much as a kiss.